just feels like cheating because it's just so easy. Okay, it's a beautiful Saturday morning, and uh, that normally means uh, $100 hamburgers. For those of you who fly regularly, you know what I'm talking about. So uh, today I'm going to be using my new Super Eco Autopilot that I've installed from Aircraft Automation in my Vans RV6. And uh, I'm really excited about this product. I, I did a lot of research on autopilots, uh, checked out uh, a bunch of different options and narrowed it down to this one. The company was a new one to me, but as I talked to them, I felt a lot more comfortable with their technology and with their support. They've been fantastic uh, through this install. And today I'm gonna be flying with a friend for the first time with the autopilot. So after about five hours of testing, I feel comfortable with the autopilot itself. And I practiced the emergency procedures to make sure I can overpower the autopilot if I need to. And I feel comfortable now uh, taking up my first passenger. So I'm gonna take up Perry with me today. We're gonna fly from uh, Cameron Park in Northern California, which is just to the east of the Sacramento area, kind of on the way to Lake Tahoe. And we're gonna head over to Willows Airport, which has a great uh, little cafe on the airport. And we're gonna meet some friends of mine and uh, have some breakfast. So come along as we uh, try out the new Super Eco Autopilot in my RV6. Thanks. Camp Park traffic, RV 907 Delta Julia taking runway 13 for takeoff. This will be a left downwind departure. Actually, I'll go uh, right crosswind and right downwind, stay out of the Cessna Sway. Camera Park. Okay, hey, keep your eye on him. All right, I got him. Okay, here we go. I'm an RV6, would like fly following to Willows, uh, just departed Cameron Park, currently over Folsom Lake, 4,500. RV907, Delta Juliet, block 4502. 4502, 907 Delta Juliet. Okay, now that we've reached our cruising altitude, I can hold the autopilot uh, disconnect button down for three seconds. Okay. Now, November one five seven. Those that we're tracking, and then we're going to fly level flight. Now I've got my GPS program for uh, our direction. You can see I'm a little off course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the uh, menu here. We'll go down to GPS. Now I'm selecting GPS. GPS steer. We're going to do a turn to get us onto course. We are descending a little bit, it'll catch it. Number 1570, Charlie, maintain VFR, squawk 4525. Maintain VFR, squawk 4525, 1570, Charlie. So you can see now we're climbing back up to 4500. RV907, Delta Juliet, contact perch 125.4. 125.4, 907, Delta Juliet, sorry. November 97 Delta Julia at 4,500. 97 Delta Julia, turn count first, so Roger. All right, good. Okay, so right now I've got it set programmed to direct to Willows. And one cool thing on the R660 is I can have it uh, fly and approach. So I can have it take me to the final approach fix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my flight plan. And I'm going to click menu here, and I'm going to say select approach. And I'm going to load approach to Willows to runway 34. Now instead of going to Willows, it's going to take me to that. So when I'm at the appropriate distance from the fix, or 500 foot per minute descent, it will give me a warning one minute before I start my descent. All right. NorCal approach, Skyhawk 5274. So now you can see we're flying uh, to this uh, final approach fix rather than direct to the airport. The Super Eco instrument gives me a lot of great valuable information. So uh, it shows me my heading, altitude. This is my uh, descent rate or climb rate. 
I'm showing you at 3,000. This is my current altitude using GPS that's built in to this device. I have a GPS antenna up here. So I'm using the internal GPS for uh, it's adding an altitude information. There's 740 okay, Roger that. I'll show you for air work near Mary. I have a uh, altimeter, obviously. The nice thing about this Super Eco is that it allows me to work with the AV30. And as you can see, it works excellent with my uh, RS660 for GPS track. Number 7, Death Delta Julia, fighting 330 vector for inbound traffic to International. Okay, I was just given a vector change uh, over the radio, so all I needed to do was dial in the new heading. We were flying a heading of about 3-0. I was told to change to 3-3, to so all I did was dial, turn this knob to 3-3. So the uh, Super Eco allows me to set a detour when I'm flying from the GPS. So I just changed my heading, and it, does, it holds the heading for uh, a minute. Now I need to keep the heading because uh, I haven't been released yet from this uh, heading. So I'm going to keep it on heading 33, but you can see it's showing me the detour counting down here. This just feels like cheating because it's just so easy. You know, I love the RV-6. It's such a fun plane to fly, but it, it's also, you know, twitchy if you're trying to just stay in a straight line. 907 Delta Juliet, resume navigation. 907 Delta Juliet, resuming navigation. Okay, so now he released me. Quebec, now all I need to do is go back to uh, GPS. Uh, we'll go mid, followed by the so now it'll uh, readjust me and I'm uh, lining back up with the GPS. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. I mean, normally a flight like this, you know, we'd hand fly it and it's no big deal. You know, you're only in the air for uh, an hour, you know, or so. But. If you're doing that for three hours or like for this upcoming trip to Oshkosh, I'm going to be doing it for uh, six hours a day. This just makes it so much nicer to be able to, uh, you know, do other things and pay attention to other things while you're, you're, you're feel comfortable that the plane is holding uh, the accurate uh, course and uh, altitude. Now, have you used it in a uh, like turbulent uh, environment? When I flew it uh, yesterday, there was a little bit of turbulence, and it lets it hunt. It hunts a little bit, but basically, it keeps it right on track, so I don't have to do anything. Now, I'm sure at some point I'm going to experience some turbulence that is a little too strong. The autopilot won't be able to keep up, and that's one of the reasons I put the disconnect switch right here. So normally, I have my hand on the throttle or close close to the throttle. This is where my right hand does its work. So I've got the button right here to disconnect if I need to. Okay, so my RS-660 just gave me a, a VNAV warning. So that means uh, I need to start my descent in one minute to descend uh, at 500 feet per minute to get me down to uh, pattern altitude as I get close to the airport. So all I need to do here is I'm gonna keep the steering on GPS steering but I'm going to change my altitude, and I'll just slowly start a descent. We'll go down to uh, 3,000 feet. And again, we're going to keep it on the GPS steering. It's showing a detour because I turned the heading bug by accident, so I can just go back to uh, GPS. So now the GPS is steering me. I'm descending from 4,500 to 3,000 at a 500 foot per minute descent. I haven't touched power. So you can see I'm gaining airspeed. I have to watch my uh, tack, so I'm going to bring back the power a little bit while we're in descent. You still need a pilot for something. Now we're, we're starting our descent into Willows. And you can see we're descending at 500 feet per minute. This also shows uh, my VSI uh, right here numerically. And you can see it, it's going to hunt a little bit. My plane descends pretty fast, and I think I can probably fine-tune that with uh, some of the calibration, so I can actually go in and fine-tune the descent the calibration. Bluff C4, 50 changes approved. 97 Delta Juliet, swapping the VFR, thanks for the help. All right, so I got to uh, go to VFR, and we'll put in the uh, Willows Airport. 
22.8. Go back here. Okay, now we're on Willow Sea Town. We're 13 miles away, so I'll make call at 10 miles. Okay, the airport is at 141 feet, so my pattern altitude will be uh, 1,200 feet. So I want to I want to continue my descent here. So. As we get uh, as we get close to the airport, we have the airport in sight, right there. So I'm going to disconnect the autopilot. So I just do a single click here. Autopilot is now off and disconnected. I'm now hand flying the plane for landing. Willows traffic RV 97 Delta Juliet right downwind 16 Willows. Okay, I'm going to slow down. I hope you enjoyed coming along in this flight in my little RV6 with my new Super Eco Autopilot from Aircraft Automation. I'm excited to have added this capability to my VFR flying, and this autopilot's gonna make my longer distance flying a lot more enjoyable while adding some nice safety margins as well. If you're interested in why I chose the Super Eco Autopilot, please check out my video where I walk through my decision tree and what comes in the box. If you'd like to see some of the installation and get more into the nitty gritty details, check out my installation video. Now I hope to take advantage of the Super Eco as I fly to Air Venture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin for the first time, weather conditions permitting of course. Be sure to subscribe and like if you would like to follow along in future adventures.